everybody, welcome to my channel. This is my video on how to bleach your hair at home. Now, I personally have really, really dark, almost black roots, not quite black, it's kind of like mousy brown, my hair. And when my roots go through, you can really, really see them. And because of the contrast between like the platinum blonde, almost kind of like white um, color on my hair, in, com in contrast with my mousy brown hair that kind of like looks like I've got black hair. So what I've done is I have bleached my hair at home and I'm gonna go through with you the full process. I do not use toner. This is because I use 40 volume bleach, which is a very, very strong bleach. It's just about legal here in Portugal. And basically, that's what I do. It burns most people's scalps. I've been doing this for 12 years, so it doesn't burn my scalp. I'm absolutely fine. I leave it on for 50 minutes, which is 50 minutes to an hour, which is a really, really long time. Generally, you would use a one-to-one -one ratio with the um, enforcing bond and the developer. However, I use a different ratio just because it's what works for me in my experience. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I do and how I do it. If you're not used to 40 volume bleach, please do not use it. You could seriously damage your scalp and damage your skin. Um, try and use a lower one like 30 or 20. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more beauty tips and hacks and ideas, and also comment below. Tell me if you've done this and how it went. Let's get on with the video. So I start off with this Schwarzkopf um, developer I use 40 volume I put three and a half scoops in a mixing bowl the scoop the size of the scoop doesn't matter it's just um, the ratio that matters with this enforcing this is the blue powder and I put two and a half this is just what I found out works for me and then I just mix obviously this is incredibly strong bleach so this video comes with a warning you shouldn't really use such high bleach unless you're used to it First step is to brush your hair and then after that make sure you put it into a parting and then you're going to section off your hair, you're going to have it in three different sections. First of all, section off one of the sides and then section off and um, tie up in a ponytail the back section as well. I'm leaving the side section um, down because this is where I'm going to start working. Starting from the top of the parting. I'm just basically going to um, section off um, a small strip here. If you've got really thick hair, it needs to be thin strips. If you've got really thin hair, then it could be slightly thicker strips. So I'm just literally pulling really, really taut a section of hair here, and I'm just painting the bleach onto it with my brush. Didn't quite work that well. There wasn't a lot of bleach on my brush, so I'm going over it again. Normally I put a little bit more on. You need to see how sensitive your scalp is to the bleach. I'm so used to this. I've been doing this for 12 years now that my my scalp will take anything, any level of bleach. So I basically can just put loads on and my scalp's fine. But you might need to be more careful. You might need to put less bleach on, depending on the color of your hair. My hair is naturally really, really dark. So in order to lift the darkness off and to bleach it to platinum blonde, I need loads of bleach and I need to leave it for a long time. But this video does come with a warning. Be careful when you're using bleach. It's probably better if you use 20 vol, not 40 vol like me. Next bit, do exactly the same again. So you're just taking a strip of hair, brush combing it through and then pulling it really, really taut and then applying the bleach to one side with your brush and then folding it over and applying it to the underside making sure not to leave out any bits then we're going on to a third strip now again nice thin strips of hair pulling I actually comb them through you don't need to do that and um, pull it really taut so you can apply the bleach as bless as best you can with your brush and then just keep brushing it um, I do actually overlap a little bit. You shouldn't overlap the bleach with where your hair's already been bleached. I, I do because I can't help not doing it. I'm not a professional hairdresser. Um, and now I've sped it up because basically you're just doing the same. You're just taking strips of hair and applying the bleach to each side. And don't forget, pull it nice and taut. 
it does get a bit repetitive but you just have to persevere and keep going with it make sure that your hair is nice and greasy when you do this make sure you haven't washed it for a good few days because when you have the natural oils in your hair it actually protects your hair from um, any damage the bleach causes so um, I always make sure my hair is nice and greasy I haven't washed it for a while um, and then basically you're just repeating this all the way down your head it does take a while but you just have to be you just have to persevere oh, oh, oh. One really, really important tip that I cannot do without is that I've got these ear protectors um, and I put those over my ear. I have to have that. The skin on my ear is really sensitive and I always get bleach on my ear. So I must use those. Basically what I've done is I've bought like just this um, a set from Amazon, like a, a bleaching set and all of these bits, apart from the comb, they're all in there, like the brush, the little pot, all of these like crocodile clips and the ear protectors and it's got like gloves and loads of other bits in it so I'm going to link below um, if I can I'm not sure if I can um, the set that I bought from Amazon what I'm doing now is I'm taking the other half of my head and doing exactly the same thing <laughs> so starting at the parting um, sectioning it off a nice thin strip um, putting lots and lots of bleach on there and then turning it over just like that flipping it over and then painting the bleach on the underside as well the whole this whole process takes me quite a long time I've done it quite a few times and you get faster with practice but it still takes me about 50 minutes between 40 and 50 minutes just because the back takes me such a long time and then again onto the second strip and I'm doing exactly the same I'm going to speed this up okay so I'm just finishing off the last section of my of the side of my head and now that's all done so I'm just gonna basically try and find where my parting was I'm just gonna try and um, push my hair back more or less into its right place and I'm just gonna see if I can just sort of tie up um, this part of the hair just so it doesn't get in the way when I do the back now this bit is probably isn't recommended we do the baby hairs last because they're really sensitive um, and I just basically I hate it when I miss bits at the front because it's like right at the front there's like two or three really dark brown hairs so I go through and I just shove a whole load of bleach on it and then take a wet wipe and just take it off my face because um, yeah it can sometimes damage your skin um, don't forget to always have wet wipes and um, kitchen towel ready just to wipe anything away and now what I'm doing is taking the back section of my hair I'm just brushing it through and I'm doing exactly the same so at the top I'm going to take a strip of hair as thin as possible and basically I'm I don't have eyes at the back of my head <laughs> so I'm basically just sort of trying my hardest to to get a strip of hair and and to paint uh, the bleach on either side then I take a mirror have a look see if I've more or less done right can't really tell a lot of it is just sort of by feel um, what, where I look see it's not even done right there's a massive bit where, <laughs> where there's no there isn't a black bit there but you know what I can't see so this is the best I can do and at the end of the day it is really expensive to do this at the hairdressers and to do it at home it is so much cheaper and so I'm just literally working my way down my head bit by bit this bit is really hard and it does take me a while I do actually find this bit quite fun because I find it more of a challenge because I've no idea what I'm doing um, just playing it by ear hopefully more or less you know hopefully I'll get it right <laughs> and I just think just do it slowly and carefully don't get frustrated don't be annoyed 
um, by it just be really patient and persevere and try and enjoy the challenge and try and enjoy it and sometimes I take a section which is a bit too thick but well that's the way it is yeah and as I say you know get a mirror and that will really help you um, and just keep going through see look a whole load fell down and I had no idea that a whole load had fallen down <laughs> that's the way it is it's just you're at home there's no I've got no one else I live on my own you've got no one else at home so <laughs> just do it as the best I can just sort of like randomly shove it on and <laughs> hope for the best so that's that I'm just going through and I'm checking I can see missed massive bits there those bits at the bottom so I'm just painting it through like that all done and now I'm bringing it down and now I'm just going back over and checking and I can see there's a massive bit there that I've missed out so I'm just going through and I'm just put, putting some bleach back on it last step is to put cling film around it because this will keep um, the warmth in and this will help it to develop and I leave it on for 50 minutes 50 minutes is now up and I'm just going to take it off and just double check make sure that it's developed enough and then I'm just basically going to wash it off in the shower and give my hair a good old shampoo and then see the results check it out not bad not bad um obviously the more you do it the more practice you get the better you become um i hope you've really enjoyed this video and i hope you can successfully bleach your hair at home bye